During 2017, with it's gonna bring a lot of new things, some good, some bad, but new phones are coming, and if there's a company that needs a hit right now, it is Samsung. And the Galaxy S8 is coming sometime in the March, April timeframe. So in preparation for its announcement and ship date, a phone that I can't wait to see, I figured I would count down the eight things to expect about the Galaxy S8. We've had a litany of rumors coming out uh, over the past few months. I think we've got a pretty good sense what the phone is allegedly going to be. These are no particular order, I just numbered them because the numbers are fun. So number one, almost bezel-less design on the sides and top and bottom. This thing is going to look like almost a screen in your hand. Even Samsung themselves leaked a picture that shows almost just screen with tiny little bezels on the top and the bottom. Get in my, get in my hand. Coming at number two, two different sizes. We've had a ton of different rumors ranging from 5.1 to 5.7. Things need to be settling down at a maybe 5.1 and a 5.5 to 5.7 inch larger Galaxy S8 dubbed the Galaxy S8 Pro. Uh, so it should have two different sizes. The actual screen size themselves though have been all over the board, but whether you want a smaller phone or a bigger phone, looks like Samsung's going to have you covered. Coming at number three, and if this one's true, it's probably I think the most exciting, a totally hidden home button. So because the bezels on top and the bottom are getting really thin, Samsung's traditional placement of their home button kind of right in the middle of the phone is going to be totally gone. Allegedly, Samsung's gonna use technology from Synaptic to actually embed, I guess, the home button of sorts directly into the screen. So you place your finger right on the screen, it would read your thumbprint and unlock your device, which is really freaking cool. I can't wait till maybe the Galaxy S9 will actually see the cameras built behind the screen. Uh, but that's a really new technology. That's gonna allow Samsung to actually use software for the home button to go home in the back and multitasking. I don't think we're gonna see a home button on the back like LG and others have done. I think. I think it's gonna be the screen, which is pretty damn cool. Coming at number four, meet Bixby. Bixby is a brand new AI from the same company that designed Siri. Uh, it's certainly gonna compete with Cortana, obviously Siri, and even Google's own uh, Google Assistant. It's gonna be a pretty advanced AI from what we hear, and there might even be a separate button that's going to pull up Bixby. How it's gonna be used sort of up in the air. We've even heard rumors that it's gonna be able to search the photos just by using your voice. So I could say, find pictures of, of Andrew Evers, and a little search for, for pictures of him and be integrated with Samsung's hardware, which could be kind of cool to see. Coming at number five, something you'd expect from Samsung, awesome cameras. The most recent rumors have Samsung sort of following the trend and putting dual cameras on the back. The megapixel at Joe has been a bit all over the board. We've heard eight and 12 megapixel sensors. We've heard 12 and 13 megapixel sensors on the back. So don't know, but there will be two allegedly on the back. One of the coolest things about the cameras for the S8, I think is going to be on the front. According to ET News, Samsung is essentially bringing the camera module from the S7 and just smacking it on the front uh, of the S8. And if that seems a little far-fetched, it should at least have the really quick autofocusing that we saw with the S7. So your selfies and every picture that you wanna take, holding your hand up farther than you should, uh, should look absolutely awesome uh, on the upcoming S8. Coming at number six, this should be no surprise, blazingly fast. It'll be rocking, at least in the US, a Snapdragon 835 with the Adreno 540 GPU. So gaming should be awesome, performance should be incredible. Uh, we're also hearing six to even eight gigs of RAM uh, in this thing to make it hum along. Don't know how the 835 is going to handle power. Sometimes uh, Qualcomm's processors sit power and then every generation or so you'll get one that just eats it all. So hopefully it's, it's the former, not the latter, and battery life is going to be pretty damn good here. Number seven, USB-C. We haven't seen USB-C on any of the Galaxy S line of phones. Uh, we first saw it debut on the now defunct Note 7, so expect USB-C and all the USB-C stuff to come with it, uh, including support for quick charging. And number eight, this one, a little tongue in cheek, expect it to, to not smoke and explode because Samsung knows it, I know it, and you know it. They're gonna have to deal with a ton of negative press and people leaving comments on YouTube videos being like, when is it going to explode and smoke? I would wager that Samsung tested this thing more than any other phone to make sure not only is it not going to smoke, not going to explode, uh, but it's not going to have any other problems that could plague smartphones. Things like reception from oddly placed antennas or how you hold it, but a phone that's going to be very well packaged uh, and probably very durable as well. So there you have it. There are eight things to expect about the Galaxy S8. Eight seemed like a good number. I could have added a few more like waterproofing and some others, but I thought, you know, eight, S8, it, it makes sense to me. 
Any of these features you think are so far-fetched, they're not gonna happen. If I would pick one that seems the most far-fetched, it's a synaptic technology where the screen is actually the, the fingerprint sensor. But Samsung does like to push the boundaries of technology, so let's see. Uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that there's not gonna be that much bloatware. Samsung, Verizon, or Carrier otherwise, just we do some bloatware, get as close to Android as we can for the pure and adulterated Android uh, with some of the nice additions that Samsung has. And that would be a happy camper. What do you guys want to see? Leave in the comments down below. Turn notifications on to let you know when new Techno Buffalo videos are coming because we love to, to share with you. Leave a comment. Also, we'll pin the top comments up to the top so we can have a discussion. Maybe people will get to know you a little better. Maybe gain a few subscribers. And I will see you guys in the next video. Lucy Butt. Let's see.